Sick of TV and its cultural rot? Tune in to churchmilitant.tv and become a premium subscriber, where you will get access to fresh shows with solid church doctrine. As a premium subscriber, you'll get hundreds of hours of programming, which includes investigative shows, catechesis, apologetics, church history lessons, and a lot more. What are you waiting for? Forget the bad television and dive into the riches of the Catholic faith for only $10 a month. Hello, I'm Michael Miller. And I'm Rebecca Hasenauer. Your latest headlines from churchmilitant.tv news. Yesterday, abortionist Kermit Gosnell, convicted of first-degree murder in the deaths of three babies born alive, gave up his right to an appeal and will be spared a death sentence, but will instead be in prison for the rest of his life. Prosecutors accepted two life sentences without parole, and Gosnell will be sentenced today in the death of the third baby, as well as an involuntary manslaughter conviction in the death of a patient, and lesser counts that number in the hundreds. Congress is considering a bill called H.R. 1681, or commonly known as Every Child Deserves a Family Act. If passed, would cut funding to all adoption agencies that give precedence to married heterosexual couples. It's interesting to note that a, si that a popular same-sex parenting study by Dr. Mark Regnerus shows that children raised in same-sex homes rated suboptimal or negative in almost every category. Minnesota approved same-sex marriage yesterday after the governor of the Gopher State signed a bill which was passed by the Senate the day before. This makes Minnesota the 12th state to pass a homosexual marriage bill and the first Midwestern state to accomplish it through a legislative vote. The law goes into effect on August 1st. Three former employees of an abortion mill in Texas spoke with members of the Pro-Life Resource Center, Operation Rescue, who then produced a video with their testimony exposing abortionist Douglas Carpen's killing of babies born alive after failed abortions. Carpen has a history of medical abuses and complaints stretching from 1988 to 2005. Graphic photographs and videos were provided by the former employees of babies who were killed past 28 weeks, as well as a list of other abuses including lack of nursing staff and fraudulent billing. A group of pro-life and pro-family organizations joined forces to get their members to contact Congress this morning between 10 a.m. and noon to support H.R. 940, the Health Care Conscious Rights Act and also to tweet about it during those same hours. H.R. 940 would protect business owners and medical professionals from the HHS mandate, which forces them to provide contraceptives, abortifacients, and sterilizations in their insurance coverage. I'm Michael Miller. And I'm Rebecca Hasenauer. Those are your headlines from churchmilitant.tv. Make sure you check out today's Vortex, where Michael talks about Scotland's Cardinal O'Brien and the homosexual clergy. Thanks for tuning in today. Spread the word about us to your friends. And may God bless you. In a culture where logic and reason have been discarded, the truth of Holy Mother Church is still very much alive. Fill your soul with the truth of the Holy Catholic faith. Get your premium account at churchmilitant.tv today and discover the truth.